We're here today in St. John's Churchyard under the high. We have filmed here several times. Uh, Jeff Bentsgrave and the Valentine brothers, Bob and Jim. However, we're here today to tell the story of two men whose fates were entwined as they were both involved in the worst maritime disasters of the last century. This was the sink of the Titanic in 1912 and the Lusitania in 1915. Arthur H. G. He was born in under the height in 1865. Um, he led an exciting, varied life, to say the least. At the age of three, he moved to Russia with his father and family. His father was a manager of a local calico mill there. In 1911, 1912, he returned to England with his wife Catherine and four children, and resided at Lytham St Anne's. He was working for a company on Deansgate, Manchester, when he was offered the job as the manager of a calico printing company in Mexico. It's quite a quantum leap, isn't it? He accepted the job, and here's where the irony unfolds. He was booked to sail from Liverpool to New York, then was offered a berth first class on the Titanic, sailing from Southampton, which he accepted. He records that on the day that he was leaving for Southampton, the family dog, which was used to his comings and goings, seemed to be very agitated, he was barking constantly and jumping up, jumping up at him as if it was an omen of what was to come. I'm not sure about that, obviously, but it is a bit strange, isn't it? Arthur recorded a diary of his time on the Titanic and he actually said the ship was a knockout. It's prophetic, isn't it, really? On the morning of April the 12th, the ship hit an iceberg and we all know, we've all seen the film this year. And this resulted in the loss of 1,200, 300 lives. His body was recovered from the freezing waters by the Mackay Bennett, which was a converted cable lane boat. And they were known as Morg boats. Uh, the Mackay Bennett had a, on board a mobile, if you call it, wasn't it? embalming department. Bodies recovered from the water. They, 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 there was a pecking order in death. First class passengers rescued were embalmed and put in temporary coffins. Second class passengers were embalmed and stored in canvas. Third class were just put in canvas sacks and thrown overboard. I don't say, I say thrown, but you know what I mean? They were weighed down in canvas sacks. And that was their fate. Uh, his body was taken to Halifax, Nova Scotia. From there he was taken to New York and his body was placed on a ship, the Baltic, that was sent to Liverpool. Arthur's body was taken from Liverpool to this graveyard and was buried on the 24th of May next to his father, Giles his name was. Now, I've got the plot number for the grave, but sadly in the late 60s, 1970s, some controversy, graves were moved, headstones were removed, and I was told they were demolished. Sadly, his was one of them. You can't find any trace of the grave, so I'm just using a genetic shot to let you know that he's buried here. Sad story, obviously, and uh, even sadder that there's no headstone for the chap. And if you want to come and have a look around yourself, it, it was plot number 729, but better luck finding him than we've had. The second chap buried in this graveyard is George Arthur Gilpin. Now, George was born in Leeds, 1868. On the death of his father, when he was aged three, the family split up. He moved to Salford with his mother, Elizabeth, and brother, Walter. And it's recorded that they lived on Regent Road for a while, in Winford Street. 1896, George was working for a banking company in Manchester, with links to South America. And amazingly, he got a job working in Salvador, South America, where he moved block, stock and battle. Uh, one of his jobs was importing machinery, railways, pumps, water pumps. He helped build the infrastructure of Salvador. He was also exporting coffee and he became a very wealthy man. It was alleged that he was an honorary British consul to Salvador. I'm not sure how true this is, but it, it certainly rose through the ranks. April 1915, he arrived in New York and intended to set sail to England to see his mother in Leeds. He booked a ticket on the Lusitania. Now, the Lusitania was torpedoed off the coast of Ireland in May 1915. We lost a 
1,200 lives. A lot of women and children were involved. There was a controversy surrounding the sinking of the boat. Obviously, there were civilians on it. The Germans said that there was a, it was carrying troops, not troop arms, military equipment, etc. Whether this is true or not, we don't know. But it did cause rioting throughout the country, and particularly Salford and Eccles. I've seen photos of shops on Regent Road. Shops were, had a foreign sounding name, Austrian, German, etc. The shops were looted, ransacked, smashed up. The famous one was the Albert Edward pub in Eccles, the landlord Oscar Lorenz. He was advised to move by the police, which he did. And his pub was smashed up by a patriotic mob who looted it of beer and spirits, etc. George's body was washed up on a beach outside Cork. Uh, he was identified, obviously, and taken to Liverpool. Here's where the mystery for me is. His body is buried in this graveyard, and I'm not a clue why. There's no family members buried in here. I can't find any trace on the church registers of family being baptised, being married here, etc. It may be wrong, and hopefully I am, so I can shed light on this. Again, his grave met the same fate as Mr G's. In the late 60s, the headstone was smashed, removed, with the permission of the church, here, eh, something to add. And the area was grassed over, and there's no trace of the chap in the graveyard I can find. He's buried at plot number 207, wherever that may be in the graveyard. We've looked for it. So, if you find it or you know why Mr. G why he was actually buried in this churchyard, please let me know. I'd love to find out. But if you pass him, have a wander around. It's it's a really interesting graveyard for its size, with, and I'm hoping to find out even more people with interesting lives who are buried here. Cheers.